when your force feedback is set up just right, <laughs> you can catch slides like that in ACC. Hello, it's me Jarl and a warm welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we'll be going about setting up the two most important force feedback settings for any wheelbase, on any platform, on any sim. Once you get these two most important settings dialed in, then you can start fine-tuning your steering feel by playing around with the other force feedback settings like road effects and so on. Stick around and I'll be running through my detailed settings on my SimMagic wheelbase in ACC using the SimPro Manager software which is currently still a beta version at the time of making this video. Let's get into it! So the two most important settings that we want to dial in today will be the gain as well as the steering angle. Bear in mind that we'll need to adjust these two settings in both your SIM, such as ACC, as well as the software for your wheelbase, which in my case is the SimMagic SimPro software. If you're using another brand, they will have the same two settings that we'll be dialing in. Let's look at adjusting the gain first. We're on ACC at my favourite track, Zenvort, with its non-stop corners and bumpy nature. Perfect for dialing in force feedback. You can use any track that you prefer, for me, I just love this track. The sim that you're on should have some sort of force feedback meter. On ACC, it's on the lower right corner of the screen. I'm just going to zoom in on it so it's easier for you guys to see. Right now, my gain setting in ACC is set to 100% while it's at the default ACC profile for my wheelbase software. Just to be clear, your gain shouldn't be at 100%. I'm just doing it now to demonstrate something to you guys. You'll notice the force feedback meter flashing red almost everywhere. That means that the force feedback signal is way too strong and the wheelbase cannot handle it. What's happening is clipping. Clipping is bad and you want to avoid it because it means that you're not getting the full spectrum of steering feel that your wheelbase can deliver. You want to keep it as high as possible while avoiding clipping. So for ACC on my SimMagic wheelbase, I find that a setting of 75% in ACC works best with the default ACC profile in SimPro. So let's test it out on the track again. This looks good now at 75% with the bar staying just below the maximum level. Occasionally over the biggest bumps, the indicator still goes red but that's fine for me because it's, it's the really big bumps anyway. And I find that just bringing down the gain from 75% to even just 70% results in a significantly less engaging steering feel. I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of clipping over the biggest bumps in order to enjoy more detailed feedback over the rest of the track. Once you've found the highest gain value in ACC that works for you, then head on over to your wheelbase software and adjust the gain so that your steering weight feels suitable for you. Some people like to have seriously heavy steering, but for me, I aim for a sporty road car steering weight, something like how a BMW M4 feels like in real life, where it's heavier than most road cars but still easily manageable. So for me, the value that I use on my wheelbase software is 50%. Okay, so we've sorted your gain setting in ACC as well as in your wheelbase software. Let's move on to the next important setting, which is the steering angle. For the sim to feel immersive, you'll want your steering input to translate into a steering action that mirrors exactly what's happening in the sim. So for example, if you turn your wheel 180 degrees in real life like this, the wheel in ACC should also turn exactly 180 degrees. It's true that most racing cars have a steering angle which is less than 900 degrees. So you're asking, what exactly is the 900 degrees that we just set earlier? It's basically the largest lock-to-lock -lock steering angle of any car that we could be driving in the sim. So basically, you'll be good if the car that you're driving has a steering angle of less than 900 degrees, which in ACC is going to cover all of the cars. Unless you're driving something like a truck, you shouldn't need to set it anything more than 900 degrees. Just make sure that your ACC setting and your wheelbase software are set to the same number. Now that you have your real steering wheel turning exactly like the in-game steering wheel, if you're on PC, you may notice one little annoying thing where your real steering wheel can turn more than the in-game steering wheel, like this. Now for most people, myself included, that's not a big issue most of the time because you wouldn't use that much steering lock in a normal race anyway. But if there's a car that you frequently use, you'll want to set the bump stops in your wheelbase software to the actual race car's steering lock angle. 
I love racing in the Ferrari 488 in ACC and the steering look on that car is 480 degrees before it hits the bump stops. So that's what I've set in my wheelbase software over here. You could create a profile for each car with the correct bump stop setting if you like and load up the corresponding profile when you change cars. I just don't bother unless it's a car I drive frequently. I've put the list of cars currently in ACC with their respective steering lock angles in the video description. Do refer to that if that's something that you want to do. And once you set up your bump stops correctly, it should now look like this. So we're on the Ferrari 488 in ACC and see how I can no longer turn the wheel past the bump stops any longer. I'm like, I'm trying very hard here. Perfect. Okay, so now you've set up the two most important force feedback settings that you'll need. Now is the time that you can start exploring making some changes to the force feedback settings in your sim or on your wheelbase software to suit your own personal preference. Just make sure not to touch your gain or your steering angle. I also highly recommend turning off any traction control when fine-tuning your force feedback settings so that there's no intervention when the car starts breaking traction and you can really feel it happening through your steering wheel. As mentioned earlier, I'm using a SimMagic M10 wheelbase together with the SimPro software and for those of you on the SimMagic ecosystem, my current settings in ACC and SimPro look like this. I find that this gives me a great level of steering detail and fidelity so that my brain can really understand what the car is actually doing underneath me. And when your force feedback is set up just right, <laughs> you can catch slides like that in ACC. It's really fun because you can sense a suspension loading up in the corner and eventually letting go. <laughs> well, at least for some of the time. Before we go, please like and subscribe if you found this video useful. It really helps out a small channel like this and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you guys at the next video.